Gonzalez, Bakersfield Public Works says too many of us are flushing the wrong things down our toilets. Department is launching a can't flush campaign because of the alarming number of clogged sewage pumps in the city. Tim Jones joins us now to tell us the things the city doesn't want you to flush down your toilet. Tim. That's right, Dave Rochelle. Sanitation wipes, rags, old t-shirts. These are only some of the things that the new campaign is trying to get folks not to flush down their toilets. The city says that items like these break sewage pipes and end up costing the taxpayers millions of dollars each and every year. Flushing the toilet. For most of us, it's just a natural part of our everyday lives. But for the city of Bakersfield, it's what people are flushing that's been the cause of more than a few big headaches. Towels, um, you've got um, blankets, pillows. I don't know how they get them down there, but we found all of this in these lift stations and a lot of other things. Michael Connor has worked for the city for over 40 years. He says that while the issue has always been bad, it's gotten progressively worse in recent years. So bad, in fact, that Bakersfield's Public Works Department has decided to launch a new campaign to encourage folks to think before they flush. Lack of education as to what it is because these companies put out that on the wipes that they're flushable and really they're not because they should be thrown into a trash can. Connor says that by throwing inappropriate things down the toilet, people cause serious damage to sewage infrastructure. And the costs are being felt not just by his team, but also by the taxpayer. That can run hundreds of thousands of dollars up to one of them I know was over a million dollars to rebuild. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that lever, make sure you think before you flush. And the city's new campaign will officially launch next month. Porn Studio, Tim Johns, I